It was the Hundred Years' War in the late Middle Ages that hammered the kingdoms of England and France into the prototypes of the nation-states that now structure the entire globe, and that, moreover, set England on the path towards becoming the foundation of modern representative democracy and France on the road towards the powerful absolutist state of Louis XIV. By the end of the war, the King of France had become the first European ruler since Roman times to control a national standing army funded by regular taxation, collected and distributed by a substantial bureaucracy. That standing army comprised cavalry, foot soldiers, and gunpowder artillery, reflecting the revolutionary rise of infantry and cannon during the war. If those were not reasons enough to pay close attention to the Hundred Years' War, it also offers the chance to study two extraordinarily effective commanders, Edward III and Henry V of England, both masters not only of tactics, but of turning battlefield victories into great strategic success.